I'm Timothy Luce and I'm making a fleshing knife. So shot a coon the other day and um, we've got it skinned and the next step is to scrape the meat off the hide and start tanning the hide. So I decided to make a fleshing knife, something I wanted to do for a while. Here's what I've got sketched up. I've started cutting it, I'm just cutting it with a, a grinder, but I've started cutting it. I basically just took a bunch of measurements. This is the cutting edge right here. I just basically took a bunch of measurements and it's roughly three inches wide by an inch and a half high. And then I've got basically an inch spine here and I've marked the shoulders for the blade. Try to get it where you can see the pencil marks better. But essentially I'm going to bend this around. Uh, the blade will bend down and then this will be hammered with a groove in it to uh, rest on an ironwood shaft. So I'm just working on that. I wanted to show you before I got too far along. Way to go! Way to go, kid! Yay! All right, this little weirdo right here is peeling off the bark of our ironwood handle. And it's a lot easier to do this when the wood is green, for sure. Way to go, cheese ball. Keep on barking. Like a barking dog. What, no barks? Rough. So we've got our fleshing knife cut out and now we're taking it to the vise and we're going to bend it around to um, make it ready to mount to our ironwood handle. And I can't find my ball peen hammer so I'm using a carpenter's hammer. Alright, let's see what she looks like. Ta-da! Our fleshing knife. Looks a like a hoe, doesn't it? I was just about to say that. Mm -hmm. Don't steal my words. Sorry. So, what I did was, I kept a hard right angle edge here and a round edge here. And these are just kind of tapered, tapered edges. So, as we scrape along here, you can see I got a back bevel here and I still need to file and hone all this but I've got a back bevel so it'll scrape the meat off and there we go hot diggity dang so we're using a Japanese pull saw to cut the slot in this handle for the blade to go into <laughs> So I've chiseled out the handle from the slot cuts I made and I'm going to stick this puppy in there. 
trick you can do this one handed. But essentially, that's what we end up with. Now, um, I, I rushed this. I split that because I was in a hurry to cut that with a chisel. Um, but anyhow, if I was doing this right, um, I'm just kind of in a hurry. I wanted to get the blade right and then just cobble the handle together. If I was doing this right, I would be wrapping this with um, sinew from a deer or something that's been uh, dried and then broken apart and then wetted wrapped around it and it shrinks down really really tight but what I'm just gonna do is drill a couple holes through here stick a couple metal pins through it and then wrap it with whatever string I happen to have around it should get me through this this um, this hide anyway so I've drilled it and set a couple nails and now I'm just gonna smooth down the handle 